Hey everybody, it's Michael Berry, hiking guides, giving you that information, that knowledge to hike with confidence. And I'm Michael, I'm an avid hiker, avid backpacker, as well as Beth. And in this video, I'm going to go over some of the tips that we do when we're backpacking, some of the equipment we bring from our tent, our clothes, sleeping bag, all that good stuff, the food. Alright, so we're out here in Henry Co. And we're just doing a night backpacking trip way off the grid here in the western zone. Anyways, guys, all right, well, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and go over that stuff. All right, so I'm going to go through some of the stuff that I go through on my uh, backpacking trip just to kind of give you guys an idea. What is that Mike guy? What does he take? But one of the big major key things is a sleeping bag. You need that. You got to stay warm. I mean, unless you're in the summer, sometimes you can kind of go out there with one of those little... Uh, Little sleeping bags, the smaller ones. They got like fleece ones that are really, really small. Um, in the summer, you can use those. But in the winter time, you kind of got to keep a little warmer. Uh, it's supposed to get in the 40s tonight. Uh, it could even drop down in the 30s. You never know with Mother Nature these days. Sleeping bag is so bulky. It's so big. You, you go down to, um, you know, you go down to Walmart or you go down to Target and you see those big, bulky sleeping bags. It says it handles minus 20 degrees. But the bag's like five pounds. It takes up a bunch of space. It's just something you don't want to bring with you, and you got to shove it in there, and it just it becomes a big hassle. And when I first started out, that's one of the things that I did. I went there. I'm like, oh, hey, it's only thirty bucks. Hey, yeah. Trust me. You want to go out, and you want to get a good sleeping bag that's good quality. There's, there's the Sea to Summit sleeping bags, which I tend to use. Uh, mine's 14 ounces, I believe, maybe a little less than that, and then my wife's is 11 ounces, so it's even less than a pound. And this guy's an 850 fill plus, real good, and it's real lightweight. It just fits in your backpack really well, um, keeps you warm, solid, solid, solid. It's about 30 degrees, but I know you're thinking, whoa, wait a minute here, um, you can get these liners that you put in there and that adds about 20 to 25 extra degree in there so might be a little um and these are sold by sea to summit as well they're a little expensive so these bag these sleeping bags are going to run into a few hundred bucks they get into about 300 dollars yeah 300 bucks but it's well worth it it's well worth it i mean everything costs a lot of money these days i, I know i know i mean food prices are jacking up save your back you're gonna save all that hassle and you want to get something like that and get the liner. Now, I'm going to show you when you get this guy in a little bag and you zip it up all tight and neck like that. Boom. That's that sleeping bag right there versus that whole big bulky thing. This is your sleeping bag. Wow. Isn't that something right there? And if you didn't want to take this little guy here and you just wanted to take the sleeping bag and shove it into your backpack, that's good too. That'll save a little bit of weight. You can even... Uh, Cut off these guys too if you wanted to to save a little, you know, little hair in there for those ultralight hikers. But if you're an ultralight hiker, you know, like some of the other guys out there, I know there's some people that are ultralight. That's a that's a good way to go um, with that sleeping bag there. Now, I carry my fleece with me. I'm gonna have that with me. This is super light. It doesn't weigh that much. Remember, guys, I did that video about cotton. Cotton is not your friend this time of year, okay? XA on the cotton A, it weighs too much. If it gets wet, you got yourself in a bigger problem, okay? It's like being in a poker game with the mafia. You just don't want to do it. So here we are. We've got the, um, these are my undies. No, <laughs> this is my, um, my thermals here. I got these off of Amazon. I really like them. You know, I went to REI and spent like, I, 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 we spent uh, probably a good hundred dollars on thermals at REI, and they're nice, and they're lightweight, and they're breathable, and all that other good stuff. But these are not as quick wicking. But I got them off of Amazon, and they keep me a lot warmer than the ones I would get on REI. Um, I took these to the Grand Canyon, did really well, and I was dealing with 20 degrees, um, and I get cold easily. So these are really nice. They only think cost me about 30 bucks. I'll leave that link down below so you guys know where to go, where to check out. And then I carry my down with me. That as well. This is super lightweight. This is an 800 fill. Uh, it's made by Mountain Hardware. Real good stuff. Put that baby on, zip it all the way up, and I'm good to go, ready for action. 
Uh, so that's the one thing that I do there. I also bring my rain jacket with me, fold that up, get that in my sleeping bag, and I'm good to go. My gear is weighing about 25 to 30 pounds, and that's with my three liters of water. So that's what I carry along. I go through my camera stuff, but you guys aren't bringing any of that stuff. You got your phones or whatnot. Um, so that always, as because I'm a photographer and a YouTuber, uh, it's going to weigh a little few more extra pounds there. But I'm willing to do that and sacrifice it for not only you guys, but for beautiful pictures as well. Now the tent, this is a two-person tent. I have a one-person tent. It's a lot lighter than this. It's only a few pounds. And it's real portable and all that other stuff. This guy's a little heavier. This is about five pounds. What I do is I'm coming down here with my friends. So I used a buddy system. We split it up and break it up in two. He'll take like the, the rain fly and I'll take the, the tent. And we'll just work it out naturally. And uh, it, it works out. So we divide that five pounds into 2.5 between the both of us. Works out. But this is a nice two-person tent. We'll be getting nice and cuddly tonight. So... The other thing I bring is I, I'm going to bring my thermal rest. This is really important because it's going to keep you um, nice and warm. Because when you sleep, if you don't have one of these, the body's, the heat's going to be leaving your body. It's going to be zapping into the ground. And you're going to be cold at night. Not a good thing. No one likes to be cold. And especially when you're sleeping, you don't want to be cold. But this is what's going to help everything. It makes the whole world a whole lot better. They've got a whole lot of sleeping pads. I like this. It does really well. It's cheap, efficient. I think I got it at Big Five. It does the job. Uh, Chris has got one in there too. And it's just, boom, you know, we're all good to go. Now they do sell them. You can get the more expensive sleeping pads, the ones that you blow up at REI. They're probably about $60 to $90, depending on where you want to go. And those work out great too. They're just, if you want to pay the money and you want to have a little bit more comfort, you can do that. Um, there's actually a guy I met on the Grand Canyon. You know who you are. <laughs> and uh, he uses one of these thermal pads and then he uses those, those blow up pads as well and he puts that on top of it. And he likes to have that comfort. So it's kind of, you meet up to whatever you enjoy and that all, uh, whatever's gonna work best for you and go with that. So go through the next steps and that's food and then a few other little extra little things that I like to bring. So this guy, I did a whole video on this and keeping you warm and I actually use this for my pillow. I take my down, I put it inside of this and I use this for my sleeping bag to help with that heat. This barely weighs anything and it's just a little added little extra thing that I like to have, a little comfort there, okay? Um, also with my food, I like to get the sweet and the salt combined. I put those together. You want to have those salts and you want to have that sweet going in your body consistently. Me and Chris, we put both of our sweet and salts together there because we're doing the buddy system. And that's gonna allow us to just basically eat through there and we'll we'll divide and conquer between the both of us to what we're gonna carry. And that's one thing that I like to carry. Now these bolts are real good. I like these things. They've gotten me rescued out of a whole bunch of situations. I'm not really a gummy guy when it comes to just my everyday life. But when I'm out here backpacking or doing some extreme stuff, I bring the gummies back into my natural system and everything flows well. But anyways, I'm going to bring those uh, bolts with me to get that energy. They're a little bit more expensive. They're about $2.50, so if you're willing to go there, go there. But if you're not, you can always get gummy bears, gummy worms. Those work out just as well. They're a lot cheaper, and they do the job too. And then uh, Beth is a big gummy worm. She's a big gummy bear person. She goes through gummy bears like, well, she goes through them. So uh, this is the oatmeal. I'm going to bring the oatmeal with them with me. Now Chris is carrying all the sweets and the salt, so I'm going to go ahead and carry the oatmeal. And uh, we got two packs for the, for the morning tomorrow. Um, I'm going to bring that with me. And then the other thing that I like to do is I like to bring uh, some beef jerky. Now I usually uh, eat a, a fairly vegetarian diet, but I do skimp every once in a while and bring some meat back into my flow of my body. It's entirely what's ever... What's ever up to you, you know, if you're a more healthy person, you don't want to go with the gummies because of sugar, you can always do like dried fruit. That works out too if you, if you don't want to do that. And then you don't have to have meat. I mean, a lot of people think you need to have, you got to have meat and all that protein to get out there and get out and get in and do all that good stuff and they got to be a wrestler. That's not the case at all. That's a bunch of hooky, hooky kabokey. You can go, you can go about by just bringing nuts and having that protein back in your system. You don't need to have jerky necessarily but I like to bring it I like the meat I like the salt 
So I got that. Now this is one thing I typically don't do, but I brought it with me today. And uh, that's the nice, uh, it's that time of year where you see all the oranges and the tangerines and they're all so nice. Everybody's so nice at the store. And um, I like to have those, but typically if I was out here for a few more nights, I wouldn't bring them. But I'm going to take the orange peels completely off of them. And I'm going to wrap it up into like a wet towel. And then I'm going to keep that so I can basically keep that fresh. Those will be done before I get out of here. And I wasn't losing that much. Uh, I wasn't going up in the incline. I was just going down. So I'm like, hey, why not bring them? Then I've also got butter. I like to have that with my oatmeal. So I take some butter, wrap it around just enough between me and Chris. And I wrap it around in some paper there. And uh, good to go. Preserve. Some of you folks like to go a little lighter. And they've got those... Uh, freeze-dried food people will bring those and those are really light but after a while you start eating that freeze-dried food and well you start getting to, uh, cramps and heartburn and not good they're not fun so if you really want to go the next step up and you're willing to carry the weight go ahead and get some of these guys this is tasty bites love them they started out putting out these sticky rice so it's kind of like you're at a restaurant but I really like them. Now they're going to weigh a little bit more. They're 10 ounces a piece, so it's 2 ounces. But like I said, I'm up here for, for one night. Why not? I did it with me in the Grand Canyon. I went down all the way down to the bottom of the Great Grand Canyon. I brought these guys with me. Did great. But uh, if you don't want to take the weight, don't get them. Just go ahead and get yourself a freeze-dried meal. Or you can also get some of those stew, soups or those noodle meals that they have where you just add hot water. That's Those are really lightweight. Uh, they're probably about the same weight like they have for the freeze-dried meals and uh, those work out really well, too Now obviously I've got my uh, propane canister. Okay, and that's gonna be for the jet boil uh, I went through the whole jet boil with you guys in another video. You can check that out I'll leave a link down below. Actually, it'll pop up at the end of the video. You can go check out the jet boil video um, Jet boils are lightweight effective boom. I get my hot water quick to go and I'm ready to act ready for action my water filter here, we'll go through that in another video, but I'm going to bring that too because I have no water out here, so I'm going to need that water filter. So I also bring these bowls here. Those are always nice, and uh, we just whip open. We got a bowl, boom, 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 good to go. Excellent job there, ready to go. These are my, my hiking pools. I got those with me on my side, boom, 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 and uh, I'm all ready to officially be active. Now, one thing that I do with my hiking pools is I've got this uh, duct tape on these guys and that goes right there so if I need duct tape I can pull it off and use it for anything that I need um, and that helps on that weight that's so taking off about 20 to 25 percent of the weight that you're putting on your knees having pulls is a good way to go a lot of you youngsters out there don't like to use the pulls but believe me they help a lot even if you're young and that's pretty much it I'll always bring a pair of socks too I have it in my in my bag here. I don't know if you guys want to see my socks, but these are those uh, wool socks. Very important to have these guys. And the socks are um, always in, it's always important. I'm gone for one day, so one night. So I'm going to bring one pair of socks. Your feet are very, very important. They are your they're your pride and joy. You want to take care of your feet. And um, if you don't take care of your feet, bad things are going to happen. It's going to make it really hard to be getting around. So always take care of your feet. And then I've also got some gummies. I eat a lot. I'm always snacking all the time. Um, so I'll probably go through all this food before I get to the car between me and Chris. This is between the both of us. So we kind of divide all of our weight between each other and do the buddy system. With the snacks and stuff, if you want to take some of that weight off your back, one of the good important things to do is have one of these beautiful pairs of pants you got here, the Columbia's. And uh, you can stash food in those pockets so when you're on the go, you can just get to your food and grab it wherever you need to. And it's just awesome and really effective. So I also bring the spoons and forks. So we have E-Tree where, where basically me and Chris are taking care of the spoon and forkage for uh, all of us. They've got those forks, but I couldn't find any today. I'm like, ah, screw it. Just get in the car. Let's get out of here. Uh, but I've got three spoons and I got one fork. So that'll manage for the night. So any kind of electrolyte supplement that you need, those electrolytes, getting those into your body is really important. People don't like to have too many lights or just have one light or 
barely use the light at all on it. This is what I use. I love this guy. It's lightweight. Um, this is a um, Streamlight ProTac 21. I think it's on Amazon for like 45 bucks. And then also I have the Black Diamond headlamp. Now, the headlamps, that's a whole other video by itself. I'm not a big fan of Black Diamond. I've had a few issues and we're in the process of changing out all of our headlamps because Black Diamond just, they, the batteries go so quickly. So I get, I get more results out of this little guy clip on than I do out of this guy. But this guy, uh, the Streamlight doesn't have the red there. So, so walkie talkies. Now I was in the Grand Canyon and people were telling me like, well, why do you bring a walkie talkie? It's just extra weight or what do you need that for? Who are you a ranger? But no, we're not rangers, but we like to have communication because sometimes we'll split apart a little bit and it's a way for us to communicate back and forth with each other in case Beth is out there and she needs information. So like today, we ran into a situation where the trail was hidden. We had to cross the river. So it's a way for us to communicate back and forth with each other. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. And thank you so much for checking out the channel. Don't forget, like and subscribe. We love you all. I'm so glad and so grateful that I have wonderful supporters and just people subscribing left and right. It just means so much. It tells me to continue on with these videos. All right, guys. Have a good one. Take care. Thank you.